Good morning, YouTube. And of course, everyone in my landscape and lawn care community. Adrian Stewart here, Legend Landscape. Today is Monday, June 8th. Ah, it's gonna be a hot one today and for the next couple days this week. Uh, just getting over Father's Day. I uh, was able to enjoy uh, the rest of the day after work yesterday. Um, you know, chill with my son. And uh, then it was back to preparing for the week and proposals, emails, etc., etc., in a cashmere sweater. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, I'm heading to the shop. It's like six o'clock. It's gonna be really hot today, so um, I'm gonna be starting, you know, in time it's really hot, like in the 90s, where they're saying that the heat index is gonna make it feel probably close to 100. Uh, but anytime it's like that, I, I, I like to start early and get the heck back. So um, that is the plan. Uh, so don't know how much footage or how much I will be talking, but you know, I'll try uh, to get something, you know. But uh, but just, that's the plan. Just try to get work done and get the heck out of there because there's no point in, you know, staying in the heat. Uh, you know, anything can happen when you, you know, heat exhaustion, you know, stroke, whatever. You know, of course, you'll be dehydrated. Um, so. Being outside, you gotta be careful. Uh, but we will we'll be going back to commercial properties as usual. Uh, getting the mowing done, I don't know, maybe some pruning. Uh, whatever it is, uh, we're gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? Done, done, done! All right guys, I'll catch up with you a little later. Everybody, uh, got so wrapped up into the work that uh, I didn't even really, <laughs> uh, you know, start taking a video like when I got to the property. But anyhow, uh, just on that same uh, Rockville Shopping Center and the commercial property that's mixed with mixed around it, um, I got Troy working on the uh, pruning on the shopping center, and I'm just starting on the uh, the curb, the sidewalks up and down uh, Shady Grove Road. And I can't even show you how much it is. I mean, I know in some videos I've shown like, you know, on the mower, doing the curb, the sidewalk, but it's way down yonder. And way down yonder. So you're pretty much doing, to get out of the way of the mower. sidewalk all the way down it's a good amount of it, it usually takes uh, about an hour and uh, 45 minutes to uh, do it with the 48 here uh, and then you know of course this area over here is the, the, the other part we do so we'll probably even try this maybe later today well not later today because it's supposed to be in the uh, 90s today, but the heat index is going to feel like around 100, so we're going to knock off around, you know, noon or just like around noon time. But this other part over here is something I've shown video of, which is a part of the um, uh, property that's, that that uh, has the fountain, the courtyard that's mixed around the uh, the shopping center. We do this area as well, where there's a big circle up there it's like around the office building so it's you know it's nicer um we usually knock out these uh curb to sidewalk and then we jump over here and knock this out and then um depending on if we have other work or not you know we may we'll probably start on the rest of the shopping center and the rest of the other properties that's mixed in um but i got him pruning because that's needed to get done so um so once i'm done with this um We'll see about what we can get done as far as mowing-wise. And then, uh, 
that'll be it. Just wanted to jump off here just to, you know, give you a little visual of what's going on so far today. Um, and I'll get back with you guys with something else. All right. Yeah, like I said, 30 to 45 more minutes and uh, I should be done. Uh, he looks like he's doing a pretty good job on the, uh, the pruning. Uh, like I said, he's pruning it and he's keeping it, you know, cleaning it up by himself. And I mentioned before, you know, it takes a good man to do something like that because uh, usually, you know, how it really goes is you may have one guy pruning like that, the shrubs, and then one guy like coming behind and cleaning everything up. Uh, but he's doing both. Uh, so you definitely want someone that uh, is capable of doing that because there's going to come times where that person's going to have to trim shrubs and clean up behind himself. But once I get back off this more, I'll be, I'll be jumping. You know, ready to jump in uh, to help him. Uh, he may be done here. If I look at something, if he's done, he's got a couple more shrubs. He can hit some other parts of the property. Uh, and then we'll get at, you know, try to get some mowing done. Because it is getting quite hot. It's about 925 now. And uh, I'm not sure of the temperature, but it, it, it feels like it's over 80 something degrees already. So I'm about to get back on here and get busy. Yeah, I was just showing you uh, what Troy had done as I'm on the mower. I'm just about wrapped up with the curb. The sidewalk's got like five minutes left. And uh, he's been knocking it out, man, I tell you. Oh, I thought I heard something back there about to come after me. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he's been knocking it out, man. Knocking it out. And um, I will be having a conversation with him today to let him know I appreciate his work. And then I'm going to uh, bump him up and pay. Just wanted to see how he was doing. Like the first two weeks, you know, I gave him a certain amount. Said I want to see how he does. And uh, I've seen how he's done the past two weeks. And he's done pretty good. Um, man, uh, I mean, all I can say is, is that when you find somebody that, you know, that works hard, you know, a good worker, you know, you get, you got to praise him. You got to compensate that person, you know, paying what he's worth. And like I said, he works two jobs and uh, he works another full-time job as well as with me, you know, and we'll work the weekends. So, um, yeah, I just, I like what I'm seeing. I just, you know, at the same time, I'm kind of like grad, gradually trying to watch you know the different things he does for me um i've seen his weeding i've seen his planting flowers i've seen his pruning i've seen his mowing um weed eating you know uh you know there's still some other things we're gonna do but so far i'm happy with what i'm seeing and uh i always say i, I have no problem paying somebody what they worth but i gotta see i gotta see it first i'm not I, i'm not gonna just throw out their money and then all of a sudden, you know, find out the person's not even really worth what that, you know, I started him off at. But uh, I'm going to give him a nice good bump. Okay. So uh, he should be pretty happy with that. And then he'll, he'll know that uh, I appreciate his work and I respect what he does. So we shall see how long this lasts, you know. Hopefully it'll last a long time. Hopefully, you know, he can hang out with me for a little bit. And uh, cause I know how easy it is to come and go in this business, but I'm gonna stay positive with it and uh, just hope for the best. All right, I'm about to jump back on this mower so we can get to the next scene of uh, work so we can get the heck out of here probably in two hours. All right, bye. All right, all right, what's up people? Uh, we're knocking out the last uh, section here for the day, which is this section here. And uh, my man, uh, Troy, is jumping on the uh, 48 now. This is his first time doing this one with the 48. Usually he'll do the, the weed eating, and I'll do the 48, walk behind on all the hills, and then I'll jump on the 61. The Skag, I mean, uh, yeah, well, the Skag uh, ride on, zero turn, on the flat parts. So now I'm going to jump on the zero turn. He's going to jump on that. 
And then uh, we're probably gonna meet in the middle with the weed eating and uh, blowing, get the heck out of here. It's so almost 11, we're gonna try to knock it out of here on 12. Call it a day, cause it's getting all hot. And yeah, you see I got my safety vest on. I had enough for all the rest of the guys. And um, and actually I picked up uh, this with a company shirt from a guy that, you know, previously worked with me for over like more than two weeks ago that uh, needed to get his check in. He needed to turn in uh, my vest and my shirt <laughs> before he got his check. So now that he turned it in, I'm going ahead and represent, you know, and have it on because uh, I have a lot more on order um, that was supposed to be ready this week. But I get a call saying uh, that they messed up and they put my old telephone number on my vest and my shirts and um, and tried to see if I was if it was okay to keep that old number on there or try to fix it by putting the new number that I had, you know, since, you know, a good amount of months. Um, by putting, it wouldn't look identical. It would have some blocks and there would be some things on there that you can tell that they tried to fix it. I said, uh, nah, I want, I want mine looking like it was before just because you guys messed up, you know, and I didn't say that, but that's in my head, like, as far as you guys messed up, you know, you got to eat the cost on that one. That's your fault, not mine. Uh, so should be getting other sets of uniforms and vests uh, coming next week or so. But anyway, just give me a little FYI on that. Because a lot of times you guys don't see me in the vest. And, uh, I, you know, I pretty much gave it out to all the crew members. And, uh, but hey, you know, I got everybody wearing them, you know. Got to wear them myself too. Got to represent. All right, I'm going to have to go knock out this work. Woo! Wee! Man, oh man. It's that... Ashford and Simpson type weather. Boy, you know that. <laughs> Solid as a rock. Boy, <laughs> we are done. Our goal was 12 o'clock. About 12.10 now. Troy's gone. I'm headed back to the shop. It's that type of weather that's, you know, bull. No bullish. You don't want to mess with this. It's already around 90. The heat index, man, it's feeling like probably close to 100. Feel that heat wearing down on you, man. It's that type of stuff you don't want to play with. You need to get back home, stay safe, take a lot of fluids. Whew. We out of here, baby. Legend Landscape. Hey, y'all. Whew, boy. I think the last time I talked to you guys, I was leaving the job site, heading back to the shop. And uh, I think that was about 12, 10, 12, 15, something like that. It's uh, about 1, 15 now. I've been back at the shop for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I just was organizing some things, cleaning things, cleaning things up. And, uh, you know, just trying to get prepared for tomorrow. So once I get here, I can just take off. So I was inside the shop, you know, I had the big fan going on, which feels good. And uh, I had stopped actually to get some more fluids, uh, and something to eat, you know, bananas, sandwich, uh, Gatorades. I, I just, whew, I had bought some, you know, I think uh, somewhere, I think you know, about when we had like about an hour or so left um, after I finished the curb, the sidewalks, and he finished the, you know, trimming the shrubs, which he did a good job, by the way. Um, I stopped in the giant right there and got us some uh, water, and, you know, etc. And I drank, you know, a good amount right then and there. And then even on the zero turn, I was carrying, you know, a bottle with me and was drinking because I could feel the heat just starting to like close in on you. And, um, or close in on me, I should say. Uh, but, you know, we knocked that last part out quick. You know, uh, Troy got on that 48, uh, walked behind and I got on the zero turn. And, you know, it was pretty much how I always wanted to, you know, knock things out with two people mowing. And uh, <clears throat> we got that whole section done, you know, you know, uh, mowing, weeding, because we both weeded after we both finished mowing, we both got on the weed eating. He took a side, I took a side, we met in the middle, done. Got on the blower, same thing, done. 
and we were finished with that section in an hour. And um, I know usually by myself, I've, I, I think we can do it faster in an hour. I, that was the first time Troy got on the on the mower on that part. He's done the weed eating part where I've done the, you know, use both mowers on there. So I guess he was, you know, still trying to fill himself out, you know. So even so, we still got done in an hour. Um, I was about to say, like, it usually takes me about, I think the fastest I've done that is probably two hours and 15 minutes, I believe, by myself. So, you know, we're right on par, you know, you know, us getting it done in an hour, but I still say we could done, I think we can get it done in probably 45 minutes. Um, but we, we, like we like I said, we, we met our goal really. I mean, even though I said we were going to want to finish around 12, I mean, we were finished 12.05, 12.10. Um, and we both felt the heat. And, uh, you know, and especially when you get on a trailer, which is, it, it's a lot, you know, hotter <laughs> on that trailer. Uh, when you're inside, you know, whatever it was, it felt like 10, 15 degrees, even hotter. So we were putting the equipment on, getting the heck out of there. And I was pretty much telling them, like, all right, that's it, let's go. Um, and I said, tomorrow, I think I want to start at 6 o'clock. Um, especially because it's going to be just as hot, I believe, tomorrow and Wednesday. So I'm going to want to start 6 o'clock because we can do that on commercial properties. And... Um, and get out early. If we got out at 12, I mean, maybe we'll get out at 11, you know. I don't know. As long as it's before 12. Because that, that stuff is no joke, man. I mean, I'm not surprised. I've been in it before. Um, a lot of times, you probably wait until July and August to get that type of weather. Um, and I know it's supposed to cool down, I think, I think towards the end of this week, like in the 80s or whatever. Um, but it doesn't matter. I don't care who you are. You don't need to be in that heat. Uh, you know, all day long. I, I don't do it. I don't put people I work, you know, work with or work or work for me. I don't. I don't put them through that. I pretty much wrap it up. Let's go. You know, because you can you can feel it wearing you down. I, I feel it now. That's why I, when I was sitting in the shop here, I felt good with the fancy. You know what? Let me start this AC up in this truck. Let me get up in this truck because it's like that when that heat just takes over your body and you feel like you're going in slow motion sometimes sometimes you're thinking slow and um and i know i just kept thinking to myself like what the hell is that, that um you know just kept breathing just kept trying to you know concentrate on my breathing and um you know i just wanted to finish fine you know i didn't want nothing happening to me or him so uh we got that accomplished um, but yeah, I had a conversation with uh, Troy because I believe I mentioned to you guys uh, earlier in this video here, you know, that uh, I was bumping him up a um, good amount. Not just some change, 50 cent or nothing. I, I bumped him up. Yeah, it's none of your business on how much. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you what I'm doing, but um, I let him know after, after I got back. Um, I'm doing the curb to sidewalks and I was showing you the video of what he was doing. I just, I saw him down at the other end, like he crossed the street to do the front, other front of the entrance of the shopping center. <clears throat> and then I started to uh, do more mowing that I, more than I expected, or more than I planned, I should say, because I just wanted to do the curb and sidewalks and we can save that out the shopping center and other property for tomorrow, like uh, normal. Um, but I was like, okay, he's still working. So I started, tapping into the shopping center so tomorrow we won't have that much left to, you know to do over there but i started looking i said wow you know he was moving you know um as i was doing my loop with the curb the sidewalks um and i got to the point where i was across where i was across the street from him i could see how much he was doing i'm like man he is moving man i mean he, he he's plus he's cleaning up after himself you know i was just like you know, that's the type of stuff, you know, he reminded me of me, man. You know, and I kept saying, I'm looking for something like that. And then, you know, he, he, here it is. He, he's right there, busting his butt, not crying about anything. Um, I asked him, was he okay once we were finished that section where the curb and sidewalks and the, you know, the pruning? He said, he was good. I said, you want to you wanna cut off now? He was like, no, nah, we can cut off at 12. I was like, okay. Well, I, I wanted to go finish this last section so we can knock that out. So he was down for that. 
And mind you, he's going to his second job. You know, there's some people that don't even have a second job that wouldn't even do some of the things that he's doing, even to the level that he's doing. So I really appreciate his work. And I told him that. And I told him that, you know, uh, I'm raising him up. I said, I just wanted to see how he worked. I said, I have no problem paying people more money if I know that they do what they're supposed to do and then do a good job, which he is doing. And uh, But I'm not going to just throw it to them and then find out they weren't really worth anything. If you can prove it, I'll prove it right back to you. You know, I could see he was kind of like happy about it. You know, he was kind of like, he probably wouldn't expect me to say that. Um, but, he, you know, he said thank you. And um, and it felt good to do that for him because I, I, I've been in his shoes before and, you know, I always wanted to bust my butt for people and show them that, you know, I'm worth a lot more than whatever you think I am. And that I hope you, you know, can see that and, and, and do that for me. And some people have and some people did. Some people just, you know, took advantage of whatever I was given and didn't do crap for me. You know, I can't say, you know, that hasn't happened before because it has. But I wanted to put him in my, you know, put myself in his shoes and think of like how I was when I was him. You know, and uh, I want to take care of him. You know, same time, I want to let him know what he needs to do and what have you, but I want to let him know I appreciate what he does. So, yeah, so we'll pretty much leave it at that. You know, nothing else really to say. You know, we, we, we got stuff done. Uh, it's hot. You know, I, I you know, told him about his pay. Um, and we're going to start early tomorrow. And he was He's down for that. Um, so... I will get back with you guys uh, tomorrow. Um, I don't think I got that much footage, though. I mean, try to get a little bit, but I think my main focus was to get the job done. So a lot of times I, I like to get footage and stuff. I'll stop and get some, but when it comes right down to it, I'm locked and loaded, and I'm just, you know, blinders just keep going. And then sometimes I'll think, oh, let me get a little bit of footage of that. But I, 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 I promise you that I will have better footage um, as the, you know, more videos come out. I do have a lot on my GoPro, a lot. <laughs> Maybe at some point I'll get it off and be able to share it. Um, but like I said, I've been using this cell phone here, just getting whatever I can, and it's been allowing me to put a lot of uploads up. Just gotta find out what the issues with, uh, you know, the, the you know uploads from the GoPro. Um, because I, I've had a lot of videos where it's, you know, the tripod, you know, obviously the chest cam, um, you know, cause you're on, you know, putting things on the machine and getting videos from, you know, all, the, all views. So, and you know, I've seen it, so I, I appreciate it. And I just wanted you guys to see it. Uh, it was a little frustrating where I couldn't get it up, but got to move on. Can't really just dwell on it. Um, as, it, as I said, I've been using the cell phone here. Um, to get whatever I've been getting the past couple weeks and I've been shooting it out, getting it out there pretty fast. So I'm happy with that. But just being, just let it, I'm just going to let it be known that I do have some skills. I could do some good editing. And uh, a lot of people that know me, you know, especially on social media, stuff that I've come up with to, you know, share on Facebook and Instagram, you know, a lot of people know I got some skills because a lot of times I, things I do doesn't even take me that long to do maybe a couple seconds, a minute or two, and someone will think that I spent all day doing it. And I'm like, dang, really? Uh, it didn't even take me that long to do it. You'd think like, like I, I spend my whole day trying to come up with you know these things. So um, so stay tuned. Um, I know my stuff is kind of you know a little basic here and there. Um, but like I said, my focus is on my work. But when, when I get down to, to, to the, my editing and, and doing some nice you know things with my skills, you, you'll see. Trust me, you will see. All right, guys, uh, I'm about to head on home. It's about 1.30 now, and uh, I'm just gonna relax, try to keep cool, work on some proposals, uh, you know, all those little things like that that you can't do when you're out in the field. So I'll get back with you tomorrow.